Hey guys, I'm on my second Amazon Flex delivery for the year. Um, it's a pretty good one, $107 for three and a half hours. It's just over 30 an hour. Um, so I wanted to take you guys along and see if it's going to be worth our time because usually I stick with the three hour ones. Anything over that, it's like usually going to take me to literally Ohio um, or just be absolutely terrible with the miles. So um, yeah, come along with me and we'll see if this is worth it. All right, so it all depends on here, whichever route we get. If we get lucky, uh, this could be a good one. Uh, let's see. Be right back. All right, so we are loaded up and on our way to our first drop off. A few things with that pickup though, usually they have all of the routes in the carts outside and you kind of just like go grab one. Sometimes they're really strict about it and they'll hand you one, but this time they actually had it inside the warehouse and they were handing them off. So with that, usually I try, if they let me, to choose one with a lot of boxes because that usually means that they're gonna be deliveries, you know, really close to each other. So that will usually result in a lower mileage route, but I had no control over that this time. And when he handed me one with just two of the crates, uh, my heart sank. But to my surprise, when I opened it, it's just full of a ton of little packages, which is great. Here's the screenshot of the route, which means that uh, in all, this is going to be a pretty low mileage thing. Again, at $107 for this, we'll probably get close to that $2 a mile mark in total, especially since I live pretty close to the last drop off, not too far at least. So that's one thing you can look out for. If uh, you do have control of that, do try to take the ones with more. It's obviously more work getting in and out of your car, but you're going to save a lot of miles. So that's great. Um, we spent about 20 minutes in total from the time that I checked in to now, um, or well, to leaving. So you can expect usually about that much. That's probably about average, but sometimes they're slow or there's a new driver and they got to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so not too bad there. And then I did also want to note that I actually had a missing package. That's super easy to deal with. You just go to the missing package thing. They scan the QR code or whatever that pops up and, and then you're good to go. You still get paid the same. So definitely do that while you're there. Uh, just kind of make sure. Uh, do try to scan all of the packages again if you have to. Again, it's a hassle, but it's better than having to, uh, you know, have an extra one that you have to return later on and drive way out of your way to do that for. So um, definitely recommend that. And then I did also just wanna quickly mention how I packed my car, cause it is so worth taking the extra time to have an order to it, rather than just tossing them in and trying to find the right package when you're at whatever drop off. So, um, I mean, it's pretty simple. They have stickers for it. You just follow the numbers if you do them as close to sequentially as possible because sometimes there are missing ones or they're like reprinted or whatever so it's kind of off but just follow that as best as you can I did it from low to high here and then in the back the same thing just starting off where I left off from the trunk so definitely do that it saves you a lot of time and yeah so that's the pickup pretty straightforward I think this is gonna be a really good one. Of course, they're not always gonna be like this, but we'll talk about that a little more at the end of the video. So let's go drop off our first package. So one other thing I forgot to mention as well is that their navigation sucks, <laughs> just straight up. Like it'll send you 10 miles out of the way just to save you a couple minutes because you're taking the highway. Um, so as you can see here, it was like an extra seven miles compared to just going through town for what, four minutes? So I will much rather save the mileage any day over that. So 
uh, I would recommend you do that too. Just keep an eye on it because it's literally like just the dumbest things too. Uh, I think I have some old screenshots that I'll throw up here if I can find them of just really, really dumb routing. So yeah, don't blindly follow it. Do just take a peek every time you hop back in the car to go on your next delivery and you will save yourself a ton of miles. All right, we're here. So we just go through again, low to high. So first box is right here. Let's scan it up and we'll drop it off. All right, so we're on the last delivery. It's two packages to two locations, but it's an apartment complex, so they're like gonna be right next to each other. So I'm gonna get that done, and then we'll go over some numbers, and I'll give you my opinion on everything, and we can talk about it down in the comments. Alrighty, guys, we are done, and we are done early. It is 7.15, let me flip the camera and show you. Now that is way earlier than eight o'clock that this was estimated. But I do count commuting time, so I left at four, meaning that was about three hours and 15 minutes, which obviously is still less than the estimated time of three and a half hours. So that comes out to whatever it is, uh, <laughs> a little over $30 an hour. So yeah, a pretty good shift. On top of that, I did only drive 48 miles. That again is including the drive there, which is really good for an Amazon Flex shift over $2 an hour. That's that's pretty crazy. Usually you have to be driving like the 3 a.m. shifts to get that with a three hour route. Um, Cause those are the ones that are usually hitting in, in the city. So it's just gonna be small mileage, just like this one was. So we definitely got lucky there. And that brings us to, is it worth it? Specifically for the three and a half hour shifts as well, because it's such a gamble, you know? And, you know, ultimately I think it's up to you, which is kind of a lame answer, a cop-out answer, but let me just say what I would do going forward. So very occasionally I will take a three and a half hour shift like today. Part of it was because I wanted to do a video on it, but the other part was because it was an increased rate, $107. Usually the base rate for a three and a half hours is going to be like 69 bucks where I'm at. But even with that increased rate, I have been sent to literally Ohio or as far as Hartford City, which from Fort Wayne, that's about 51 miles. And the crazy thing on that is that that was actually a three hour route. So again, with the three and a half hour route, you run an even higher risk of going further and just absolutely destroying your car. So sometimes I'll take the gamble, but I lean towards the three hour ones. And I think at least in my market, I got it sort of figured out in the mornings, those routes are, I've never had one go far. It's always been in the city. So if you can figure that, you know, that kind of thing out for your market, then you're going to be at a huge advantage. Again, for me, I just avoid the afternoon shifts because those are always going out into the middle of Amish country. And it's just, it's no fun. But that's about gonna do it for this shift. So let me know what you guys think of Amazon Flex in the comments. And let me know if you guys do more than the three hour shifts. I have still never done a four hour one and I don't think I ever will. So let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.